and here we are. What you say, bro? That fucking reverend man. You did have a improve. We can now manually tar targets in that eye with RB. Is that an improvement? <laughs> No. Got some new arrows. Hell yeah. Peter cartridges. Okay. There's Micah. Hello. Can I eat? Do I have to eat? Am I still underweight? When we make it love to... Uh, I'm still underweight? What the fuck? What the hell am I supposed to eat? Let's play this game. Lenny? Hey, Arthur. That knife's sharp enough, ain't it? Depends. Why? You feel lucky? Do you? Oh, before me? At least six generations were born in chains. And for the last three years, I've been running from every lawman and bounty hunter west of the Lanahassee River. So yeah, I feel lucky. I'm the living embodiment of luck. That is one way of seeing things. But I'm also skilled. And in this game, you got to have luck and skill. And stupidity. The outlaw's trinity. Luck, skill, and just a dose of stupidity. Come on. You ain't too old and too slow just yet. After you. As you wish. Mm -hmm. We should head back up that mountain sometime and make Jenny a proper grave. Some nights. You liked her, didn't you, kid? Uh, well, sure. I mean, yeah, I liked her. Practice. Okay, how do I do this? Hello. Perform tricks while playing by pressing LB when button appears. laps oh it's why I went bitch I did it. Alright. Easy peasy. Easy. 
It's so bad. <laughs> Let's see what you got. Bro. Now, watch and learn. Oh, it's B? What? Okay, it's getting difficult. X, X, Y, Y. You win. A, B, B, X. A, B, 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 X. I'm gonna beat him for sure. Bitch, got you. Leave. Okay, well, who is where is the J? <clears throat> John. Oh, trying to get something in Valentine. Sure. Can I eat? Oh, he just cooked it. That's nice. Hello, Mr. Morgan. Hi. You been on the rum again? Oh, is he just cooking? Maybe he's just cooking. Hello, Mr. Morgan. Where are food supplies? Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Reverend, I just want to thank you for saving my life. <laughs> the liquor is not my friend, Mr. Morgan. It really isn't. I make such a fool of myself. Don't worry about it. You're a fine man. <laughs> Lying, on the other hand, that really is a sin. But we try to support each other. Items. Oh, maybe I should just do... I cook something for myself. Shame about Aiden. Sure. It's, it's always a shame. Wait, isn't there a fire here? Oh. Read for me. Oh. Hello, Arthur. Hi. We're all hungry, son. Just try reading. I can't cook here, what the fuck? Lenny? Alright, let's see, let me see if mine. Is you ready? Okay, not ready. So let's go see John Marston. My man. So many horses here. Easy, easy. Holy shit. That one is nice. Yep. He ran away. Fifty four FPS is very nice.
So, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about and you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? <laughs> Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. We try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm the workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well... You was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way... We're the last, I reckon. We ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. I already don't like how this is going. Is going to do gunsmith? Yep. Yeah. Who are you? Dumb son of a bitch. Gun store. Yep. Can you uh <clears throat> head in, pick up a sniper rifle? I already have one. Ha <laughs> ha. I'll explain later. Don't you wear yourself out now. Oh well, hello again. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a side on it. Shouldn't be a problem. You want to see what we've got? It's all in the catalog here. Hey, what is the one that I got? Um. Rifle cartridges I already have, right? the situation why couldn't you have done that Hello? done what bought that gun uh, i had a run in with that fella earlier we ain't on the best of terms you had a run in i've had a run in with half that town calm down it's done now ain't it why are you being so cagey about all this always playing some goddamn game me I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? <laughs> Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl... What was her name, Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. 
Yeah, I know that place. So I'm thinking that the herd will make it to auction all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collected on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. Oh shit. I can see the sheep. This is not the ammo I want. Why do I have 12 shots only? What the fuck? Okay. I think that's them over there. The one now. Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only branch hands. Just watch the sheep. Looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in close. He'll get the message. Yep, that spooked him all right. All right, let's go round him up. That's <laughs> all. We're stealing sheep. on a ranch, Marston? No. You? Oh, day here, there, but not much. Most cowboys I know are dumb as trees. How hard could it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. Easy. Scattered. Let's get them all rounded up. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Sheep to me. You ride Shank. Keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to herd. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. <laughs> I'll move it up. your mouth.
what am I doing? Those are up, boys. There you go. Fine sheep. They're okay. Oh, you seem better around here? I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything then all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you. 25%. You want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as a buying your sins. Uh, you're buying. We're paying. Go on now. <laughs> Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? What is he doing there? In the end, I'll buy you I will believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. Compromises. Compromises. Well, I have never. Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Maypo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. <laughs> Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen, drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago. Bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. What the hell? You don't know me, but you keep robbing me. My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you. Get out here before I have these men killed. What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash. You start spinning a yarn, and when I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. I where I am by Why not? You rob from me? Vandalin, you're done. Now get out here. 
I make a move? Shit. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case that I? of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me. No one wants to be this Dutch Vanderland. Whomever we may be. Why is he not aiming? So much for cover, holy shit. I guess I'm taking mine. Nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. So we can't stick around after this. Let's go. Come on. No. 
Where's my horse? Fuck me. Horse, why are you here? Why is this red thing? I'm doing my best to escape, but wow, how far should I go? Oh, that's a big one. Kill something and cook. They're still behind me. Shots. This game is so fucking beautiful. Yeah, we need to hunt something. Okay, what weapons do I have? Carbine. Springfield rifle. Springfield versus rolling block rifle. Springfield seems better damage. Range, this one look has a better range. Condition. to hunt something, boys. I don't think I have a fish with me. Do I have a fish with me? I do have a fish. Hello? I would go and find some... Like one more. There was a duck right here. I missed it. Oh my god, I'm so blind. <laughs> There's a frog here. frog well, there's a ducks arrow for a clean kill pecking duck small game arrows no why did they leave I barely move, what the fuck? There's another set of ducks. I 
Got her. Oh shit. Oh my gosh. It's a new duck. What the fuck is this? Moose. Damn boy. It's a long scope rifle. I have exactly that. I have exact... Wait, I don't. Fuck. Come here, horse. Give me the rifle. Stay, 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 stay. Why are you fucking this up for me? Dude. Stay, girl. Poor guy. Is it a fucking vulture? Already? I just killed it. What the fuck? They're so fast. You son of a bitch. That's a big one. Wait, I can't do anything with it? Skin. to me Valentine is locked let's go here and buy ourselves out is that the closest one it might be Well, here I have 180. <laughs> yep.
What is that thing? What the hell is going on with you? I'm just parking my horse. What the fuck is wrong with you? Happy to assist you in a moment. How can one crook raise so much hell? Our folks in New Hanover will be notified. Thank you. Take care now. Sure. Now that we found out what are we gonna do with it? Now that we found out. Say. I hope you ain't looking for gold, partner. I ain't seen so much as a fleck round here. <laughs> well, good luck to you. Hmm. Hey, give me some goddamn space here, will you? Sure looks like another pile of shit crumbs, don't it? Let's give it some of the magic touch. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah. Ah, something. Mm, anything. I'll take a cigarette butt at this point. Why is he all stuck? What? Just a waste of time.
it is still under. Need to improve her core. Huh. How do you do that? What? Do we have to go away again? Oh, they're packed. This is a serious situation. So, we keep heading east. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Well, that'd be nice. Join the commune. We stop when we find someplace sensible. Shake them that's following us and lie low. This is lying low? We turned into a bunch of killers. I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. <laughs> so, we moving? Yeah. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Charles, come with me. We got work to do. Now, where have I heard that before? <laughs> what weapons do I have? John. So where are we? 
Well, I got all the weapons here. against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. So where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as running. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. This is a big country. But now, with these Pinkertons, better paid bounty hunters, I ain't so sure. Maybe the price on our heads got too big. Yeah, they've certainly got money behind them. They've got Cornwall. Hang on a second. I think that must be it up ahead, the old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Yeah. Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first, debate second. <laughs> I'm not gonna shoot for the sake of it. Survival's for the sake of it. Quit talking. You started it. Okay. Um, my Springfield... And repeater, as always. You see there? Tent and a wagon. Looks deserted. Okay, well, let's have a look around and make sure... Oh. Come, be careful. I'm being careful. Oh, somebody's hiding there. Sure. Someone's still here. There ain't no one here now. I ain't so sure about that. Oh, she has a weapon. Okay. Come out of there. 
You okay? <laughs> you don't mean no harm. Are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Mit German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of here. They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? It ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. How does he know where to go? She didn't say anything. Oh, okay. We're gonna have more people to our clan. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just gonna send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted. We got Pinkertons breeding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. I think this is the right way. Give me a second. So, what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then if you asked me. Wait, just let me make sure this is right. Kid, it's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well, if it's John's idea, it must be a good one. Easy. What is it with you and him? Oh, uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real young. A long while. Here. Wait a second. Just want to look closer here. Wait, is that the kid from Red Dead Redemption 1? So, you were saying? He did. Is that his child? Oh, there's a tight person right there. Where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. This looks like our fella, Charles. Quick. Cut him free and let's get out of here. <laughs> Shit.
two with one shot. Oh, nice. You get him untied, I'll see what they've left behind for us. Bitte, lass uns mich gehen. Bitte, lass uns mich gehen. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. So, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Settler, let's go. Did he just spit? How do I do that? Oh, there are dead men here for sure. A lot of them. Let's loot. I am leaving until I get these motherfuckers. Clean my weapon. Oh, I got two rifles. What the fuck? Soll ich mitkommen? Wo bringen Sie mich hin? What the hell did you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. How did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Uh, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. <lacht> 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 Did we really get this far? Oh, I guess that means that the horse needs brushing. Get out of here, this place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. Ist klar. Vamos. Uh, <laughs> Most. Ich hab was für Sie. Ein Ooh. Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. <laughs> yeah. Rich people. So, is are we gonna get a new chapter? You were right. Oh, this place. Oh, it'd be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. Uh. 
Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. <laughs> hell yeah, chapter three. Yeah. So I wonder if Micah's mission is going to still be there or no. Can be sold at any fence. Where are the fences? Return the captain. I had shots. Yeah, there's Micah. Morning. Who is this lady? How are you doing, Molly? Molly. Fed up moving all the time. You're yeah. moving at that jam. Do I still have my skin? Where's my horse? Morning. Morning sunshine. Things seem bad. <sighs> World is Good changing morning. then. I'm not making much sense, am I? <laughs> no. But somehow you've summarized how I feel. It, it seems awful. Good morning, Arthur. It seems the same as always. And then it, it seems like there's just I still have the pelt. I don't. Fuck. I don't know why this happens. That was a big one. What the fuck? Man. Don't take Dutch's patter about redemption too serious. We're doing good day. Good day, bro. It needs better meat. Well, sure. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Hey, yes. can you just give me some leather working tools? I can make some rugs and blankets and the like out of these hides you're bringing in. Letter working tools. Sure. Let me let me see what I can do about it. Dutch just chilling there. How much does it cost the next one? Medicine, we don't need medicine. Variety, we don't need that. Ammunition would be... Mm, okay. War station... Uh, 225. Okay, 225. 225! <laughs> 225. So that means I need what? 172. Uh. person contributing I'm 
upgrades for your satchel. Hell yeah, I brought the let's go. Showed me like what it can do. Recipes. Oh, there we go. Info. Increases the current capacity. For one of a kind, Mr. Morgan. Tonics. Increases the current cap capacity of edible ingredients. Yes, to crap. Shut up. Visions, materials. Valuables. Oh, for all types. Perfect deer pelt, perfect cougar, perfect wolf. And this needs what? Can't craft this yet. Yeah, it's just nothing. Camp tables. Well, not much. Not much, not much. Okay, where's my horse? Needs brushing. Am I still underweight? Hm. I am. What the fuck? Okay. Uh, I mean, well, but they could be better. I'm worried. They, they, they've been through a lot. If I had some burdock root, just a couple, uh, I could knock up a poultice, could keep them well, and cure some ailments. Burdock root? Yes, yes, that, 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 that works best. Okay. If I see some, I'll bring it you. Thank you. Hey, sir. Dutch. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> Fine. It's funny. Us in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. <laughs> Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals. Arthur, we're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. 
We're thieves. In a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of thick. I'm going fishing with Dutch. Show us this crick you've been pissing in. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good along, old Dutch. <laughs> Is it Jose? Always green, crushing, and bubble burst at you. Come on, Jose. Let's go fishing. Come on, then. Curious couple and our unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived. How well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we have got to be discreet. Imagine what a clue of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Drug in. I see. Well, well, look who it is. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mine and investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur, 
Chase wanted man. Uh, and and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. <laughs> what? We can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train. Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. Come on, hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. What do you think you're doing? Master, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. So what are these fellas wanted for? Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. <laughs> oh, I think he's dead. I think I won the fight. <laughs> oh, just a bell. <clears throat> Bring him out here. Deputy? <clears throat> it sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. And what now? Well, take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. Thank you. A pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take <laughs> him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain round here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. 
ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Easy. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Okay, this way. Hey, fellas. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. <laughs> so, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Well, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come <laughs> on now. I'll keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. The edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Greys, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out of the rebel gold and marrying cousins or not marrying. Arthur, that's it. Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take months to find us down here. And it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some stuff. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I could not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. <gasps> right? Braithwaites. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. Senate. No time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Or have you had enough of the chase for one day? No, I'll go. Sure, why not? Hell you. Great. Hosea. Why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. <laughs> Beautiful day, ain't it? What's happening, Valentine? Pete's making my head pound. Gentlemen, follow me. Roads, hell yeah. How far is it from Valentine? Well, not that far. Whoa, now. 
So how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pile. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel too. Pickerel. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Hey, out of the way! I'm on a tight schedule. Trelawney's like a bad penny. I'm not sure how good a magician he is. But he's certainly good at disappearing when he feels like it. Where does he go? Everywhere and nowhere, it seems. We wouldn't have got Sean back if he hadn't been weaseling around down that way, though. Hey, Dutch, remember that time you found him in the outhouse? <laughs> oh, yeah. We hadn't seen him in weeks. We stopped in some dead-end town in the middle of nowhere. Don't even remember the name. You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. <laughs> so, we pick up some supplies. I go to relieve myself. Open the door, and there's Trelawney, sitting there, newspaper in hand. Mr. Vandalin, I say, what the hell are you doing here? And he said, I could ask you the same thing. Now, if you wouldn't mind giving me a little privacy, I ate a rotten oyster. <laughs> Hey, maybe there are actually a hundred Trelawneys. What a terrible thought. <laughs> huh? <laughs> so, you're going back to see that Sheriff Craig? Yeah, I don't see why not. They don't know who we are down here. This is the spot. Down to the left there. Coming past. Okay, go. Hold. Yeah. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Oh, damn. Hey, those the boats you mean? Yes. Good. Nice romantic evening with the boys. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. <sighs> All right. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, no. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. <laughs> You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. <laughs> take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. <laughs> what about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do too. Get us a bit deeper. Here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big. A sturgeon. Strong with a good old worm. Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. 
You heard the expert, Archer. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Are you trying to make your lure look like a dead fish? They won't be interested if it ain't moving. Okay, that was a bite. Got him? Arthur's got a bite. That's on the hook, Arthur. So has got nothing. Hey, look at this beauty. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fella told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I would like to see that. There he is. We call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. <laughs> All right. Think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. We'll be oh, nice. Horses. Well, they'll find their way back. <laughs> Let's follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. <laughs> Thank you, boys. Now, Jose. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Um, all right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me some. Mm -hmm. I asked that gal to give me some. She says, wait until the taters is done. Mm -hmm. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Couldn't wait till the tins was done. Threw her on the floor and knocked off some. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I wish to God I'd passed her by. Mm -hmm. I wish to God I'd passed her by. Tins got burnt and so did I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know what song we should be singing? What? <coughs> Look at us. Three. Mariner. Ah, of course. Well, we three poor mariners newly come from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round and round, round? Shall we go dance this round and round, round? And he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this round. men that do our states disdain, but we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them we dance this round, around, around, to them we dance this round, around, around, and he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this ground, a ground, a ground, a ground, a ground, a ground, a ground. <laughs> I think I, well, I mean, we are going to be okay. 
I know. Well, I always know. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. <laughs> well, I am going to take in the view. Touch is definitely the speaker. <laughs> I'm short. Get lost. Well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. <laughs> You're not saying, miss. You're shouting. I'm sorry, Captain. Did they do things differently in the Navy? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Is that Sadie? I'm well pleased that I tell you. If I don't get out of here soon, I'm going to kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm going to kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slice you up. You put that knife down, or you could be missing a hand. Later. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, <laughs> Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. Go ahead, they said. Shoot him. So he did. Bang, bang, bang. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner. Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife. <laughs> no, both of you. Well, come with me then. You want to head out there, run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need I should wash, wash myself or something. Maybe me and Mrs. Ad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? <laughs> so I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> what does it say? I can't read it, what the fuck? Okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. <laughs> Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't <laughs> heard from you in some time. So I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> Never actually even talked to a woman he ain't paid for. Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. And what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All males be sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Doesn't the start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. Here, give me that 
step back. We got work to do. I did hear that. Okay. Here we are. Sir, <laughs> what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you. No! You <laughs> We rob fools and rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. No guns. You sure? This time. <laughs> be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. You done raised enough cane around here. Help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. No trouble. She's gonna mess up something. I'm pretty sure. Is she gonna get into conflict with Dutch because of that? Buy. Oh shit, what the fuck? <laughs> what does she wear? I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. <laughs> well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for goddamn help. <laughs> Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. <laughs> Got attitude. Sadie, not lady. I know. Get up. So you get everything? I think so. Zika. New clothes, I see. Don't stunt. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair making cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and <laughs> playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Ever again. Just don't kill the camp cook. Please. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Go, go, go! Shit! Let's get the hell out of here! Come on. Told you I could shoot a gun, didn't I? I don't remember 
Oh my gosh, I'm so fucking blind. Oh, I cannot loot them. Fuck. What are you doing? We should get out of here. Pass those right here. Why? <coughs> because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Idiot. We show no bastards, huh? Remind <laughs> me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But maybe not. Careful now. So who do they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbing Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind of Bolt. Not a chance. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined <laughs> conversations, but I'd be lying. I, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adder did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but... I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> we got this, Arthur. You I have to cut my hair. Favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice panties, by the way. Oh, shut up. End <laughs> <laughs> of the last one minute career. Arthur. Yes, darling. Fuck, I need to shave myself. Should I just go to the barber? I don't think I can cut my hair here, can I? <laughs> Would I go to a saloon or where? Where is that thing? Why is that thing yellow? Grace. Where would it be? Saloon, probably, right? Well, I was just there, right? Now let's buy a newspaper and that's gonna be it.
There's a letter. shooting somewhere. Just fucking idiots again. Now, if I steal from here, am I gonna be in a lot of trouble? Or what? Why can I loot those bodies? It's gotta be like the conductor, right? Yeah, I don't think I should loot that guy. Well, nobody's here. <laughs> Wait, it might maybe only... Uh, mess up my... Okay, I'm looting this stranger. <laughs> what happens? Fuck, I knew it. Stranger again. Oh, horses. Oh, that's my horse. Got.
Mm. <clears throat> Where is the fine brandy? Doesn't fine brandy work for this thing? I don't get it. Out of stamina, what am I doing? Chewing tobacco. Oh, that was brandy for this restores everything. Fine brandy. Hmm, huh, that's what I want. That's perfect. Oh, they looted everything. Drive the train. What? Oh my gosh, no way. Holy shit. <laughs> Wait, how do I leave? That is insane. Now what is here on this thing? I feel like this whole thing has to be full of stuff. Can I just bring this to our camp? Why ah, is this whole thing? Oh, you can sell this. Oh, that's nice. <clears throat> so I guess we go make some money. Now, where is it? fence guy there as well. It's the first one I see. That's quite far. But we can do it. Let's go. No, I don't want to quit. No. Yep. Come with me, Jose. Easy, easy. Is he coming? He is coming.
Why it sometimes doesn't work? Is that it? I think that's it. Quite far. How much money? Figured this might be of interest to you. Well, ain't this a lovely little thing? Deal. Here. Pleasure. <laughs> Give me invisible money. Let's see the fence. See you again soon. Forty, well that's not so much. Why is this fence locked? Shemash. Is it gonna be open later? Maybe. Okay, girl. Okay, girl. Now, where did we want to go? Is there a saloon here? There is no saloon here. Okay, let's just head back to... Why is it with those things?
sir. I got the help. Please. I've been bitten by a snake. I need medicine. Drink oh, this. To... It'll help. Is that medicine? Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh. I owe you one, mister. Got that right. Hopefully, I'll pay you someday. Uh, now, I gotta get out of here. Don't much like it. Out here. No more. Just stay the hell away from snakes, all right? Come on. Is a barber. Oh, you can play cards. Now, how can I ease your troubles? Bath, rent a room. Twenty five cents. Really? That's pretty cool. That's in, folks. Great. No more bets. Let's play. I'm gonna stand. Card Why I cannot select this anymore? What the fuck? It's all good. Calm down. No. Get the hell away from here! Why cannot? 
What? What the fuck? Hey now, you're gonna leave here. You got me. Guess you want a piece. Why can't you write us leaving at the door? Please, fellas. Just run away. Don't cause no troubles. They're gonna keep following me, I'm just gonna fucking shoot them. You better not come at me, boys. You gonna regret that. Is that them? That's not them, right? Fuck, I just want a fucking haircut, that's all I want. Are they still inside? No, it looks like the bar is empty. Scrub ahead. Need someone to take over in there? Yes, ma'am. Oh, sounds good. Yeah, thanks. Ooh. Very well. Relax and I'll do my best. How are you doing? <laughs> oh, I'm doing just fine. <laughs> you must get some bad manners. <laughs> yeah, someone's always kicking up dust around here. Been a while since I've been able to relax like this. Oh, interesting. Very professional. <laughs> oh, so you're a charmer, hmm? <laughs> How did a nice lady like you end up in a place like this? <laughs> oh, <laughs> now that ain't something I should talk about on a client's dime. Well, at least this ain't awkward. <laughs> Funny and handsome, hmm? She's a little bit delayed with the responses. But where the fuck am I gonna get my haircut? Alright, I think I'm good. Ooh. I was lovely to meet you. 
Bye. <laughs> Gentlemen. Welcome. Thanks for playing. How about this? Please put in your bets. Uh-huh. No more bets? Let's start. And 14. Now I'll split. And nine. Cod. 15. 18. 15. I'll take a card. 18. That's 12. 18. All right. All right. All right, Dan. Bets are open now. Sure. That's it then, no more bets. Teen. Twelve. Pick me. Thirteen. Cod. Sixteen. I'll take another. Oh, what the hell? that's a bust. That's a bust. 13. Card, please. Damn this garbage. Guess I better be heading off. Thank you for playing. There's something for you. But that guy's looking for Gavin still. Where can I get a haircut? in my head. Where is Dutch? Oh, he's in the town? What? I want to hit him. No, shut the fuck up. Wait, is this saloon? Is that the parlor? That's the parlor house. Okay. Last thing. Shave myself and I'm done. Whoa. Funds fourteen bucks. So, 
What do you think? What do you mean? About those two families. The rich ones in the big houses. I don't know. Go have a look around. See what you can find out. Arthur. Calmly, I mean. Sure. Dutch and I, we both think there's money to be made. I hope so. <laughs> I'll see what I can find out. Facial hair trim. Guess me. Sleep <clears throat> until the night. Alright, let's go